With strengthening economic ties and bolstering economic cooperation high on the agenda, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will leave on a five-day visit to four African nations of Mozambique, South Africa, Tanzania and Kenya in a short while from now. In a tweet, PM Modi said he was confident that his visit to Africa will lead to closer engagement between India and these nations for the benefit of the entire world. Newly sworn in ministers and those with rejigged portfolios take charge of their ministries. Venkaya Naidu takes charge of Information and Broadcasting Ministry, Ravi Shankar Prasad of Law Ministry, Anand Kumar of Parliamentary Affairs Ministry, and Smriti Irani of Textiles Ministry. Ministers of State also take charge of their ministries. Speaking to the media after taking charge, Information and Broadcasting Minister M. Venkaya Naidu said effective communication is key to development and his focus will be on empowerment of people through information. Naidu said empowering people with information of different kinds relevant to fulfill their aspirations is very essential. External Affairs Minister Shishma Swaraj has tweeted that the Indian Embassy in Libya has secured the release of Reji Joseph, an Indian national from Kerala. Joseph was abducted in Tripoli in March this year. Swaraj appreciated the efforts made by Azhar A.H. Khan, India's ambassador to Libya. To give a major boost to Namami Gange program, a total of 300 projects will be inaugurated tomorrow at various locations in Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Haryana and Delhi. The projects include sewage treatment plants, installations aiming to clean the river and ensuring its unfettered flow. Water Resources Minister Uma Bharati made this announcement in New Delhi. The Delhi government has suspended Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's Principal Secretary Rajendra Kumar as the rules state that an official is deemed suspended if he remains in custody for more than 48 hours. Meanwhile, an FIR was lodged against Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson Ashish Kethan for hurting religious sentiments. Kethan had reportedly compared the AAP manifesto with religious books while launching it in Amritsar. Eid ul Fitr, which marks the culmination of the holy month of Ramazan, will be celebrated across the country tomorrow. However, Eid is already being celebrated in Kashmir and Kerala today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has greeted the nation as well as leaders of some other countries, including Pakistan's Nawaz Sharif, on the occasion of Eid. In Odisha, about 10 lakh devotees thronged Puri to catch a glimpse of deities on chariots on the occasion of the annual world-famous Rath Yatra. This is the only time in the entire year that the devotees see Lord Jagannath leaving the Puri Jagannath Temple with his brother Balram and sister Shubhadra. The Director General of the International Labour Organization, Guy Ryder, called on Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi. The Syrian army has said that it was observing a 72-hour ceasefire across the country in an announcement coinciding with the festival marking the end of the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. A British inquiry into the Iraq war strongly criticized former Prime Minister Tony Blair and his government, saying they had led the country into war based on flawed intelligence that should have been challenged. The long-awaited inquiry report also said Britain had joined the US-led invasion of Iraq in 2003 without exhausting peaceful options. In a massive relief for Hillary Clinton, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has stated that it will not recommend any charges against the U.S. presidential candidate over her use of private email servers while being Secretary of State. FBI Director James Comey administered an extraordinary tongue lashing to Clinton and her aides, rebuking them for being extremely careless in the handling of classified information. Barcelona's Argentinian star, Lionel Messi, has been sentenced to 21 months in prison and fined 2 million euros for being found guilty of three counts of tax fraud. The country handed the same jail sentence to the Argentine soccer player's father, Jorge, and fined him 1.5 million euros. Oscar Pistorius, the double amputee who dazzled the world by running in the 2012 Olympics on blade-like prosthetic legs, was sentenced to six years in prison for the 2013 murder of his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. The first semi-final of the Euro Cup football championship will be played between Portugal and Wales at Lyon in France tonight. Portugal team is ranked 8th in the world while Wales is at 26th. In the Euro tournament, Portugal's best has been runners-up in 2004. Wales are the first debutants to reach the semi-finals since Sweden did so in 1992.